Thanks to Wondrium for sponsoring this video. Learn how to use design and decoration to communicate your unique self with Decorate Like a Designer with Jonathan Adler, available now on Wondrium. When Lars and Monique had purchased the property, they approached us about uh, designing the house. They've got three children, they've now got a dog and a couple of chickens. What quite appealed to me about their vision and what they were trying to do was that they were very keen to move away from the city and to provide a change of lifestyle for both themselves and their children. And they were keen for their kids to have a greater connection to nature. They were not after a large house. A lot of work was done in constraining the footprint in the area to exactly what was required. When my clients purchased the site, it was actually an ornamental garden. So there was a large house and then there was a tennis court and then an ornamental garden and a car park, all owned by one family. And eventually they decided to sell the property and sell it in its divided parts. What was really great about the site though, was that it is a very large site. It's over 2000 square meters. So on paper, it was like, oh, we've got this enormous site. But in actual fact, it is level for about a third of it. And then it drops quite steeply down to a gully and bushland and a little bit of a creek. So two thirds of the property is not possible to be built on, but it's quite a lovely bit of nature. The other part of the site is that you capture views right across the water, Port Phillip Bay, and then you get views to the city The layout of the house was predicated very much by placing those living spaces down towards the end of the house. So from the front door, down the right hand side of the corridor, we have got the three children's bedrooms and their own bathroom. Then immediately adjacent to the front door, there's this great area where everybody can sort of declutter. And then from there you can either go down the corridor into the kids' bedrooms or there's actually a couple of steps up into the main bedroom, into Monique and Lash's area. So they have their kind of separate wing. You then step down, so it follows the slope of the land through the corridor. It became very much about that corridor, getting people down from the front door into those living spaces. On the left, there's a family living area, and that kind of opens up as part of the corridor. It's not an enclosed space, and the sofa is actually built in to create a divider between circulation and that room. You continue stepping down a couple more levels, and then you arrive in the kind of crux of the plan, which is the kitchen and the dining and the living area, which then start to twist around to the north. One thing about creating divided spaces with their own floor level is that you can actually be a bit more compact in the plan. Because they kind of have their own designated space with three walls, you don't need as much breathing room around them. The other key consideration with a site such as this is that connection to outside. So from that kid's living area, they can connect to outside. From two spaces in the dining area, you can make the outside connection. But then in the living area, it's contained in itself and has sort of elevated views over the bay. Monique and Lush came with a very high level of design sophistication and interest. The things that they liked were to do with Scandinavian mid-century design and Heidi II by McClash and Everest. Lash in particular has Scandinavian heritage and his, his father lives in Scandinavia. So they had a sort of a familial connection to it. A kind of a connection to what the aims of that architecture was about, which was very much about sort of light and simply designed spaces and quite a bit of sort of a, a modest approach to materials and built form. And we discussed about these materials like block work could be outside and inside and help blur that distinction between interior and exterior spaces. 
So then it became what would be the palette for the project. And we were very agreed to have quite a reductive and elemental palette. We've got burnished concrete floors, an off-white concrete block, which is only a half height, so it has sort of an elegant, longer proportion. And then a roof that's just draped across these blade walls. And then some warmth through the timber. So the windows and doors have got a timber frame internally. And then down the corridor, there's a silver top ash liner board. And then all the joinery has got an American oak veneer. In terms of sustainability, the first part of it is always begins with the orientation. So we are getting glazing facing north and not having glazing to the south and to the west wherever possible. So the north facing glazing is then orientated to thermal mass, which in this case is the concrete floor, but also the concrete block walls. The roof was very carefully designed so that the overhang beyond the glazing cuts out the high summer sun. We were then also concerned about how to make it a no fossil fuel house. So that means that it is powered and heated by electricity only from the solar array that's on the roof. And a big part of that is eliminating gas for the project. There's very good natural daylighting, so there's hardly ever a light on on the house. And then the other very key consideration was very high performance windows and doors. The success of this project really is in the way that it creates this family home that has this fantastic connection to its surroundings. A home like this, it needs to be two things for a family. It needs to, to shelter them and give them protection and make them feel safe. But homes also need to be a stage. They need to be a place where we feel like we can project ourselves into the outdoors and outside and into the public and friends and family. What was really important for us through the design process is that with such a beautiful setting and with such an amazing outlook that the design needed to be quite quiet, needed to recede from the things that you're drawing to outside. And with that, we could just limit ourselves to a very elemental set of materials, but also to light and to space and to change in level. So by for example, a change of level, you create a different sense of one space to the other and different light levels, and then you borrow views through it. So there was letting the light and the space and the form of it do the work rather than relying on exuberant design moves. Thanks again to Wondering for sponsoring this video. Have you ever wanted your own home to show off who you are or who you want to be, but you're not quite sure where to begin? Wondrium is where you can find the answer to not only that question, but whatever else you've wondered about. They have a curated collection of short and long form videos, courses, tutorials, how to's, documentaries, and more, all presented by engaging experts. Basically, it's the place for minds that wonder. I've partnered with Wondrium because I've just released a new series, Decorate Like a Designer with Jonathan Adler, who is a potter, a designer, and an author. Decorate Like a Designer will introduce you to new and modern approaches to interior design and decoration and help you find and communicate your own unique particular style. You will learn about design styles and movements throughout history, how you can use colour, there's a nice little debate between minimalism versus maximalism, and you could probably guess which side I'm on, how to use wasted space to your advantage, the effects of lighting, and a lot more. There was a particular lesson that I found quite intriguing where Jonathan Adler was talking about American architect Paul Rudolph's approach to levels and platforms and how these are used to create space as opposed to just using four walls and a door. So if you've ever wondered about anything, then Wondrium is the place for you. You can show your support for my channel and learn something at the same time by signing up to Wondrium for a free trial. Visit wondrium.com slash simple dwelling or you can click the link in the description to start your free trial today.
stay. 